Good afternoon and welcome on board. I recognize every one of you, but I will not be able to call names because of the time factor. My name has not changed, Chukumbo Lagbaye. I want to appreciate you. I want to recognize you. I want to applaud you for coming on, even though on a Saturday afternoon, as many of us would have been in the party or ex we are in clubbing, but you still have time to come and listen to me and see what I want to say. Thank you so much for your support. I recognize you. Thank you, everyone. All of you, thank you. I am live in the studio, as you can see at, at the back and the microphones around me. So I am condoling myself within the journalism announcement. So I cannot do outside for now, the next 30 minutes. It's a live program right now in the United Kingdom. It's time is two o'clock. We're talking about how to regularize your status in the UK. Today I want to look at the reason why we are having the hefty delays in receiving applications at the Home Office, receiving results from the Home Office. I want to look at the hefty delays that we are experiencing at the moment. And also the reason why biometric cards are going missing. So it is my job as a public speaking person and as a legal practitioner to ensure that I put the information back to the public domain. This will assist the government of the day in doing things properly and at the same time public will be aware of the situation inside internally so they will not raise panic too much. I have a program to do this evening at 20 past 3 so I will only be running this at exactly 2.30 I will be finishing. So please, can you share the program and let everybody that's supposed to be aware of this, let them be aware of us being live right now on this um, social media. My name hasn't changed. I want to remind you that 2nd of December is going to take place. Nothing is changing. So if you have not started putting your money, if you have not put your money in the bank account, your 10,000 naira, I think you need to do that. Please don't put yourself in too much situation that until you see me on ground. Until you believe that I'm on ground in Nigeria that you would make payment, it might be too late by then because we have limited space. So please, I want to ensure that you have a space on that day and you have where to sit and you have your hand out. So if you, if you have not put your money in the account, look at the chart at work there. Account details are there, you know, and it's a Zenith Bank account that you have to make payment to. Um, I don't know why this person is calling me. And it's even doing FaceTime with me. That's rude. I only do FaceTime with people that I want to do FaceTime with. Apologies to that. When you are calling me, you don't do FaceTime with me because I will not take it unless I ask you to do it. So I want to remind you that the payment needs to be made to the Zenith Bank account and you have the information right there. The Zenith Bank account is uh, 10133085233. Look at the ad chart there with my pictures. There are two men, about two of them there. They are my pictures. You can see me and can see it there. I stick my head out for it. You will be paying to Brightway Consulting and Logistics in Nigeria, Zenith Bank account, and it's only 10,000 naira for the um, training pack. A lot of people are saying that when I can do it myself, you try it. That's why they are refusing you all the time. To know is what is killing Nigeria, and we don't caution our tongue when we talk. I like to encourage people to please purport themselves when they are addressing things on my wall, because I will not tolerate any nonsense on my wall. So if you have anything that is bothering your mind, you either address it to me directly by calling me and, and talk to me, 
rather than leaving me with message or leaving my friends or fans on message that they will not accept. Please, respect is reciprocate. Let us respect each other. I recognize everybody and I want to thank you for your support from time to time. Let's go into the real work today. Today, the reason why I'm here today, um, Saturday, 2 o'clock, is because I want to address this issue. Usually, I come on 2 o'clock every time and talk about immigration. I, it's part of immigration that I'm talking about today, but at the same time, I just want to address the reason why we are experiencing huge delay. So I want to tell you and reassure you that you are not alone. So if you are out there and you are worried, please, you are not alone. We are on 07908 here. 62840. We are on 07908 62840. That is the line we are now in the studio. 07908 62840 or 07496 936110. We are live in the studio in the United Kingdom. Nigerian 101.1 FM. Tokumbo Lagba is my name. Jasha. Because a lot of people want to hear me saying that over the period of time I have not said it. Uh, it's because of my business schedule, uh, Major Kinjasha, and there is nothing called free lunch. When you come to take consultation in my office, you know me. You have to pay just only fifty pound. I will not make it. I will not make life difficult for people. Only fifty pound is what you have to pay. But you should bear it in mind that you will be going away with solid advice on the highest level. That is what you are going away with. When you come like that, you will be going back with the solid advice from the highest. So please, um, the rest are sure that you are in a safe hand. And to those who have been calling me yesterday and query on the uh, visa refuser um, training in, the, in Nigeria, yes, it is true and it's taking place, it's coming up. So please, don't worry, rest be assured. All those that want to know whether their mother-in-law should attend, if your mother-in-law is in Lagos and your mother-in-law can travel within the distance, your mother-in-law travel to United Kingdom and make a application she was refused, so, of course, your mother-in-law will have to come to you, uh, to that training with a reason for refusal. But she must have paid money into the account beforehand, before coming. I know Nigerian is Thomas. You want to make sure that I'm on the grassroots before you start making payment. I just hope it will not be too late for many people on that day. And that's what I will say. Now, with regards to the problem we are experiencing in the home office, it's a general problem. It's a general problem and it's dated back now to almost... Um, 10 12 months now it's a general problem but i want to reassure you that you are not alone there are many people that are in the same shoes as yours so please be rest assured that you are not alone so don't raise panic there is no need for you to panic on that the problem i'm experiencing and i think home office is experiencing at the moment with clients at the moment is that you're not updating your address with us you're not updating okay okay thank you okay okay you're not updating your address with us and if you're not updating your address with us it means it means that you're going to be having problem in receiving your biometric card which is your status when it's printed because at the moment what I discover is that the, the Secretary of State agents are sending out the documents to my office that's what I know about my office I'm not speaking about other offices they are returning documents to my office, and some of the biometric cards are being sent to clients individually. Some of the card comes to me, but some of them, under my inquiries, it appears that they are going to client addresses. So which means that in the past few months that you have submitted your application, you may have moved address and changed move houses. If you have done that and you have not come to my office to update your address with me so that I can update Secretary of State, you are going to fall foul. Thank you, King uh, Jason. Thank you. So if you are, if you are one of those that have changed address lately and you have not come to me to update your record with me and it means that the Secretary of State is not aware of your new address, believe me, your biometric card will go in the bin because they will have printed it, they will have sent it to your address and you will have moved. So the, the, the biometric card probably will have been returned back to them. And if it has returned back to them, it basically means that life will be difficult to get it back from them. So I want you to be aware of that. A lot of people are not aware of that, of that situation. They're not aware of that situation. So I want to encourage you. So if you are joining us for the first time, can you share this program and let people have it? 
share this program and let your friends receive it and let them hear from the horse's mouth. If you have changed your address lately, thank you, Prince Wale Omaluabi. It is vital information. If you have changed your address lately and you have not informed me in my office or any of, any of us in my office to tell us that you have changed your address and we have it recorded on, our, on, on the file for you, our job would be to write a letter to the Secretary of State um, agents and inform them that, that you have changed your address, they should update their system. If we have not done that, my dear, my dears, it means that you are going to lose your biometric card when your status is granted. And some of the people that are out there at the moment that I have received their pack and they have been granted. They are almost, it's almost 15 people now that have been granted and some of them cards are still not arriving. Only six of them lately or five of them lately as at yesterday that the Secretary of State has written back to me that they will produce it, that they have, it has not been produced. Because we've been making complaints and we've been writing letters. We have sent to many to, to complain department. We have made complaints against the issuing officers. Because it, it, it appears to me, my understanding is that the issuing officers have made error. And that is an administrative error. After when they have granted status, what I see is that they did not pass document to the issuing department to issue it. Visa spouse application from Nigeria, have they done it already, Abby? Visa spouse application from Nigeria, has it been done? Because there is a huge delay generally. I mean, the United Kingdom, are you, do you want to come and meet me in the UK? Who, who are you to be asking me? Who is that asking me? Anyway, uh, I'm in the UK at the moment, but I'll be coming to Nigeria for the seminar. You know that seminar is coming up on the 2nd of December. So uh, it's going to take place. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you, Lawrence Andrew. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So the situation here is that if you have changed your address lately and you are my client, I'm not talking about other people's clients, you need to come and update your address with me in my office, please. Because I don't start work that I will not finish. And if Secretary of State have granted you it means my job is completed. But my job has not completed because you are hoeing me. Most of my clients are hoeing me. So I know that for sure. Most of my clients are hoeing me because I don't collect fees or office at the same time because they will have been asking me for, you know, for, for instrumental payments. So basically it means that I have agreed and mostly, most cases I agree. Unless clients say, no, I don't want to hold you. I'd rather pay you once and for all. And only two or three clients are in that situation. So the majority of the work that has been returned back to me, granted, you know, I don't take cases that will not go through anyway, so you know me. I, when I give advice, I give advice within the law, and I understand what I'm saying. So I know that it will, it, they will grant you. That is when I will say put in application. I can assure myself on that. Yesterday, now my telephone number was given to some Italian clients. And when they came to me, by the time I finished my advice with them, they said, no, the government was right to, to, to ask them to come to me. It was the office of the immigration commissioner that gave them my number and asked them to go and take advice from me. Because I, ask, I always ask clients, how do you know about me? Who told you to come? Sometimes it could be home office that asked them to come to me. Sometimes it could be the OIC, office of the immigration commissioner. Sometimes it could be the law society and said they checked the list and I'm part of the senior practitioners in the area. They should go and meet me. So therefore... I know exactly what I'm talking about. When I'm giving advice, I give advice on the scale that don't submit your application now, it's not going to go through, or proceed with the application, it's going to go through. So I know exactly what I'm saying. I will not take any application that will not succeed because I haven't got time to be cracking brain and having a headache on how to lie. I can't lie on my work because I have already sworn oath and get it to the Elizabeth, the Majesty. So I am not in a position to lie as a, as a legal practitioner in this country. And I wasn't born to lie anyway. So the situation here is that when I give advice, I know exactly what I'm talking about. I will tell you whether to proceed or not. The situation we are at the moment is that application is experiencing huge delay inside. If you are in a situation that your application is still inside within the last eight, ten months, if you are my client, it means that I am asking for an update so you are safe because I have been asking for updates on files, so mine is okay. If you are not my client, go to your lawyer. Go to your lawyer and ask your lawyer 
ask your lawyer to get updates. I won't get mad. I'll be a lawyer. Have you seen any lawyer that doesn't get mad? Would you look for last day? Please caution your talk, your tongue. So the situation here is that if you have a lawyer, go to your lawyer and tell your lawyer to, to prepare you an update. And that is the only way to do it. Go to your lawyer and ask your lawyer to write a letter for an update. That is the only way out of it. But if you are my client, it basically means that after three, four months, I have sent letter down to them. Although they are saying six months wait, but majority of the applications has now gone more than six months. So the advice is that you should be approaching your lawyer. I know the delay is three months now. I know I recognize that. You know, so the situation is that approach your lawyer and ask them to go for update for you, please. Right? Ask them to write to the Secretary of State for update on your application if it's gone beyond six months. If it's over six months, ask them for update. I beg of you. I'm going to leave here exactly 2.30. I haven't got time to hang around. Please, for biometric, for people that haven't, hasn't received their biometric cards, my advice at this stage is that Please and please, go check your address with us. If you have been granted, and I have informed you that you have been granted, make sure that I have up-to-date address with, with me, your up-to-date address. Because if anything go wrong, I'm not going to be responsible for that. If you have changed your address and you have not informed me, I am not going to be responsible for missing biometric card. So also, the Secretary of State will not be responsible for missing So also the Secretary of State. So also the Secretary of State will not be responsible if they send that card out. The question I am asking them at the moment is that I have asked them the reason why they are now sending biometric cards directly to client because that is not the agreement. A client of mine was granted yesterday with her three children or two children. If she's on the line, she will be listening to me. I receive a pack. And she received the biometric card, but she did not receive the biometric card to be signed for. The biometric cards were, were, sent, were sent through the post door, carelessly, and she only got two of it out of three. So it means that somebody somehow is careless in between, and we're not too sure who is careless now. These biometric cards are not supposed to be sent to client directly. So I don't know why the system is now slacking, and it's getting slacking at the, at the same time slack. Because lately, most people that have been granted now are now experiencing problems in receiving their cards. And if you have been granted and you can't get cards, it means you are stuck in the country, you cannot travel. And if your employer did not see your card, employer may not want to keep you going. So it's a serious problem. It is a serious problem. You know, it is a serious problem. So I would actually would want to appreciate people to please and please, you know, Please and please update us with your changes in address. So if you can let us know the new address, I will instruct my office immediately to write to the Secretary of State on your new address. And if you are one of those that are reporting, I beg of you, you have changed your address. Please don't be scared. If you have submitted application through me and you are still reporting, please make sure you, put, uh, you go to the reporting center and inform them of your new address. I have been telling people lately, if you are reporting and you have a new address, let the reporting center know your new address so that the system can be updated. And then let me know as well so I can vividly write to them and say, my client, this is my client's new address. But at the same time, I always tell them to copy me or correspondence to my address. I am not a lawyer that you will meet at McDonald's to give advice or in the car. I have an office. I am licensed. So you will meet me in my office. You cannot meet me at McDonald's. So I stick my head out and be responsible. Once you have given me instructions to act for you, instruction means you have paid me, you have signed letter of authority, I shall carry on smoothly without any problem. So please, new address, update us straight away, you know. New address, update us straight, straight away so that there will be no problem between you, us, and the Secretary of State as well. You know, there will be no problem. 
This client did not do the application by themselves, my dear Poppin. Unfortunately, they did it through my office. I represent them. So the biometric card is not supposed to be sent to clients in any circumstances. I did the application and it's supposed to be coming through my office. So I think majority of the time, I think Secretary of State is trying to see whether that client is still in the address. And especially husband and wife where they are having their differences. The wife may have gone behind our back to go and call Secretary of State and say, listen, I am not in good terms with him. Can you send things to me directly? So these are the issues that are happening at the moment lately. So please, if there is a change in your circumstances, I beg your pardon. Let my office know if you are my client. Let me be aware so that I can deal with these changes immediately without being uh, biased. Thank you, Prince, uh, Prince Gregory. Thank you so much. I think there is a problem in staffing, you know. I think there is a problem. Mm, I think there's a problem. Definitely, I think there's a problem. I think there's a, I think there's a problem at the Secretary of State's office. You know, so if you are one of those that haven't received your biometric card in the last ten days, stay calm, and be rest assured. As long as it's from my office and I'm the one that handle your application, I will get it out from them. Don't worry. But it's a general problem. I think they moved the director that was uh, active. I think there was a director that left the department or somebody left and that table just went empty and it affected the whole section of that department. I think that's what happened. And if you have worked within the government department in the past, you will agree with me that situation of that do happens when they move senior manager that is very effective. If an effective manager moves department or moves to another government department, it will definitely affect what he or she has left behind. If he's one of those that are very active in the, in, in, the, in the department. So I want to reassure you, please stay calm. Don't panic. As long as your application is done through my office, I reassure you again and I retrace my word and I stand corrected. Don't panic. Do not panic. We will sort it out. We will get it out. We have made huge complaint to the department already, and I think they have they have they have received complaint from my office heavily, because I am not happy. Christmas is coming. A lot of people want to book ticket to travel, but they cannot go. I know. Yes, I want to appeal against Home Office, and they wrote to me that they will make decision in due course, and it's taking more than four months now. They now reply, what shall I do, ma? Don't worry. Tell your lawyer. If you have a lawyer that represents you, just tell your lawyer to, to write to them and ask them for an update with a copy of their letter. If they have written to you, it means that that is a good sign of, uh, uh, that's the good news. If they have written to you to say that they are aware of your appeal, that you've won appeal, they have considered. So that is fine. So they will definitely grant you. But I think the delay is so unbearable at the moment, and it's really making me feel uneasy, you know. I'm so, so angry with them. So that's why I wrote my complaint letter two, three weeks ago to them. And there's another letter that went out again from my office either yesterday or two days ago that they need to do something about it. About the biometric cards, we keep sending it after 10 days. We, if we don't receive it after 10 days, we keep writing to them for update. And please, if you haven't got your Nigerian passport and you want to put in an application, I would advise you, you need to pursue your uh, application and um, your passport before application because they will return your, passport, your document back to you. If you don't have an international passport, they will not grant you status. So please, go and apply for your passport first. Go and apply for your Nigerian passport or your international passport before you put in an application because they're not going to grant it if you don't, put, if you don't have an international passport. You don't have to be a Nigerian because there are many non-Nigerians on my wall. But you need to make sure that you apply for your passport before you come for your application, please. How long does it take for a judge to decide? They are all the same thing now. All of them are experiencing huge delay because some of the cases that went on appeal shouldn't have gone on appeal. As a result of that, judges are overwhelmed with work. You know, thank you, my dear Diola. Judges are overwhelmed with work because some of the cases that went in for appeal shouldn't have gone in the first instance. 
So there is no need for those cases to go for appeal. So because of that, judges are experiencing pile up. So if a judge sat for 10 cases or 5 cases in a day, believe me, it would not be easy for him to make reply within 3 weeks. Because they have to do detailed analysis of case laws and look at the precedents and case laws and fact and fact fact of that fact of fact of each cases, you know, before they can now sit down and start putting it together. And to promulgate is not easy. It is not easy at all to promulgate. It's not easy. So you will really need to understand the situation through people like us that is speaking in the public like this to encourage you, you know. Just remain calm. If you have attended your appeal, if you have submitted your application, if you have been granted and you haven't received your biometric card, you haven't received your, your determination from appeal, you have not received a response back, as long as you have done biometric card and they've taken money in your account, please be rest assured that everything is fine, that you'll be okay, you'll be all right. Don't raise panic. Don't use prastamon on something that is not necessary. Don't give yourself a necessary headache. No, Moyo, sorry, don't do that. Don't do that. Wait for that one year remaining because they are very, very heartless. Some of them can be heartless. They're going to refuse you. So please, Moyo, sorry, don't put in an application now until that one year arises. So wait for that one more year to calculate your 20 years and then you go in for private life application. Do you understand? Please don't submit application now until you can show evidence for that 20 years throughout. If not, they will refuse you. So don't put in an application now. I beg of you. You'll be refused. If you submit it 19 years, they will refuse you. So don't do it. Thank you, Obolanle Hadekwe Jutaiwo. Thank you. Yeah, so that is the situation I have with you for today. I haven't got that long time to spend because I'm going for a seminar now in Iwit. And I'm going to discuss about the immigrant family in the United Kingdom and application. Parenting is what I will be discussing how people adapt to situation in England when they come from Nigeria, for example, how they manage, how they can manage to deal with their children, what is control over children, and what is advice. I want to look at those things, and those are things I want to concentrate on. I think my time to speak over there is 20 past 3 in Erit. They have started the program already, and I was there already, but I will be down in Erit today to speak on parenting and immigrant family in the United Kingdom. Immigrant family in the UK. That is what I'll be basically speaking on today. Uh, I'm going to leave now. I won't spend time. Hello? Hello. Yeah, hi. Hello. Yeah, hi. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, my dear. Yes, ma'am. So I just want to ask a question. I've since March. Okay. You've submitted your application since when? Since uh, March. Okay. Then I've not. Got, it's just a renewed one. I've got. I've done. Two, I've received two years already. But I, I, have you done your? Have you done your biometric? Yeah, I've done it. So relax yourself. Don't worry. Relax. That's what I just addressed now. It's a general problem, and I will not want you to raise panic. Okay. okay? All right, dear. You, so you must welcome. If someone has been practicing this area in this area of law for many years, you will agree with me that we always get into backlogs every five, five years. We always get ourselves stuck unnecessarily, which is the Secretary of State Department I'm referring to. We always get stuck unnecessarily every five, five years. We have backlogs. And I think our backlogs has accumulated in a way that it must be going to almost 300,000 now. And to clear 300,000 is not going to be that easy. That was my projection, but I think it's more than that. But we, that is how we always get stuck in backlogs every five, five years. How it happens, I don't know. But that is the way we are. Every five, five years, we get stuck. It's like, having, it's like when we hit recession in the UK, we always hit recession every 10 years. So be careful. If you are in the country and you've been here for long, please try to get information at hand. Information is power. When you have information, you cannot get lost. But when you don't have information, you miss your way. So that is it. For that person who say I get mad, I cannot get mad. Now I'm a lawyer. Now why are you killing yourself for me? Eh? Thank you for all those who got my back there. I've told you don't. If you can't purport yourself on my wall, don't make mistake. It could be one of those that always love to crack jokes unnecessarily. So I forgive you, you know. 
I need So I forgive you with your sin. I forgive you. But that is the situation we are today. I have to go. I haven't got time at all. Time is not on my side. I want to appreciate you. I want to thank you all. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. But I need to go. I haven't got the time at all. Time is not on my side. Thank you so much. Till next week. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Forest Department. Thank you, Elijah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Elishola, thank you, my dear. Moranike, thank you. Adeja Miodwai, thank you. Popkin, thank you. Prince, thank you. Oye, thank you. Christian Adeola, thank you. Moyo Soro, thank you. Adele Toriotim, thank you. Florence, this is, thank you. I will look at them, I will block them, don't worry. Thank you. Popkin, thank you. Thank you so much. We have to go now.